Okay. Good morning and welcome aboard this Storybook Land for uh, Our My name is Mary Ann and I'll be your super storyteller aboard Laura. Please make sure you all first in your hands on feet legs inside the boat. There are the ducks. Supervise your kids so the story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now most people enter Enchanted World to the pages of a book, but those that go in person often find the way to be magical or sometimes missing. But don't worry, though it looks like we're going to draw the monster of the whale, we're actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Oh, look at these oh, wow, so oh, 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 I want to go in there. Oh, that's cool. Of course, our story starts with Once Upon a Time. But it also starts with a big bad wolf whose cave is on our land. He's always after the three little pigs that live across the way. There's one house made out of straw, one made out of sticks, and one made out of guaranteed wolf fruit bricks. And now our story takes a curious turn. As you come around the corner, we'll find a quaint English village and home for Alice. Once yeah, like old enough to name, she follows the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, where she fell down, down, down into oh, Wonderland. Wonderland. Where things became curiouser and curiouser. Story the Land is filled with places to inspire storytellers, like London Park, over which Wendy, John, and Michael Darling first flew over on their way to Neverland, where they would never, ever have to grow up. And Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment, <laughs> where a street rat named the last first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. Love blooms forever here in Storybook Land, much like the roses in the arches above us. It is here that Aladdin and Jasmine took magic from the sideways and under into the forest. A whole new world. What? What? That boy. That's a camera. Cute stories are filled with love and light, but they have their dark places as well. Places of ease to be, like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Legend has it there's a magic lamp inside, and if you free the genie of a lamp, he'll grant you three wishes. What would you guys wish for? Snow <laughs> 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 yeah. White wished for a safe place after she fled the evil queen, but she came upon the cozy forest cottage belonging to the seven dwarves, who let her stay and thanks for her kindness. And of course, on our left hand side, well, Cinderella's wish was to go to the ball. Her fairy godmother was able to grant that wish, but when Cinderella didn't leave the ball on time, her carriage turned back into a pumpkin. And it's still there on the bridge. Cinderella. Although magic has its limits, thankfully, love does not. And she now lives with her prince in the castle at the very tip top of the hill, happily ever after. In honor of that happily ever after, I declare this bridge a kissing bridge. Uh, kiss, 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 love, love. Uh, Other than influence, you know, that's uh, no. Wishes no. <laughs> <laughs> inspire dreams. Some are dreams of happily ever after, while others are literal dreams. Inspired by bedtime stories that set babies to sleep on hills of quilted flowers. Like the ones that are left from the 1933 silly mystery cartoons on the There's magic everywhere here in Stories of Land, even in the miniature trees that'll never grow up thanks to Tinkerbell's enchantments. <laughs> stories today. Stories like The Wind in the Willows, with Mole Rat and Mr. Toad, who saved their manners ahead on the left. But sorry, folks, Mr. Toad's not actually home right now. He's off in Fantasyland on some sort of wild oh, ride, but nowhere in particular. Ooh, 
And as begins to tell you, our next stop is the Kingdom of Ariel from the story of Frozen. With its castle by the bay, ship and dock, and Elsa's ice palace rising out of the snow capped mountains. It was there that Sister Zana and Elsa discovered something even stronger than Elsa's magic the power of love. <laughs> Oh, look at all Oh, this is Pinocchio's village, David. In the Alpine village to our right, why, that's where Geppetto first wished upon a star that his little wooden puppet Pinocchio might someday become a real boy. Oh, look, there's a little ice. The trading post. Oh, that's the trading post. Okay. Hey, it's time to go out. <laughs> they made you watch it a few times, thanks to me. On the right hand side is the home of the little one. Oh, the little one. On that sandy shore in front of the castle, the aerial is first steps on our steady legs and fulfill the dream to become a part of our world. The aerial story begins with the underwater city of Atlantica and overflows into adventures that lead to the like all good stories do, the happily ever after. So as we close the book on our story, we ask you please wash your hands on and make sure you come in for an ending. Please remain seated. We're going to do a one, two, three count and have everybody stand up and watch magical time. Just so we don't go under the sea. I hope you've enjoyed your trip to the Storybook Land Canal. We'll come and see you again. Yeah, I do. I don't know. Medical care.